Uh, hey, I'm David King. I work for Scott's Framing. We're here doing this footing on this basement house right here. And, uh, well, we've hit rock. We're going to show you what to do when you hit rock. We're going to do some forming. And uh, it's going to be just uh, not all that bad. Uh, you see the little hole we're in here. And that footing's got to be 10 inches deep. Well, we're not going to get that. So we gotta got to form it up. Now you can do it two different ways. You can use it. You can use ground, rock, whatever. We're gonna use two tens. All right, David. Have your mercy. All right. I just uh, we prefabbing these little forms with a couple of blocks to hold them square. Now we just gotta make sure we left for our two foots on the end, so we can tie in the corner. We got it propped up there pretty close. Now we're gonna get a good stake in the ground and get it right. Some of these little places. We might have to dig them again a little bit. Uh, what he's going to do is bring his backhoe up here. We're just going to shoot the top of the ground, make sure we got a certain measurement to the top of the ground so our concrete will be deep enough in the footing. Just a little bit too much dirt to take out by hand.
There's I was shooting it. This guy regular little. This is kind of inexpensive transit. It'll work though. The bubble zero. Make sure it's on solid enough ground. And whoever's shooting through it, don't touch it. Ready? Hey, you see, we're the only ones that hit rock right here. Uh, so, we're going to drill into their rock. Blast, you see the big mass there? Uh, they don't bother us any, just the damn noise. That's what I'm talking about. That rock's just too high. We ain't got enough room to get our foot in that thing. It's, uh, it's too much of it sticking up. You gonna see what he can do with the back of the hole there. I don't think he's gonna move it like that. I don't know. He's moving something. He's moving a little bit. That big ass rock though, it's gonna be hard to get. The engineers call these floating rocks. Cause uh, you might hit one in one spot and 10 feet away, it won't be a rock. They're just scattered out in the soil. I don't know how they got here. I'm not a geologist, but they're here. Let's Now maybe you can do something with that other one. Got our forms up. Uh, got it staked off good. Got it braced good. Got some rocks, uh, gravel along the inside edge of it, and got some soil around the outside edge of it to help hold the forms together a little better. Cause now we're ready to take these blocks out and uh, uh, go ahead and put the steel in after that, and then we're ready to pour.